came back from Costco and got not too many things. You know, every time you go Costco, there's always something that you grab. It's like Target, you go there, you have only like two things you wanna buy and then you come up from the store, come out of the store with two large bags. But yeah, this is all we got are must-haves. Uh, this is the Eggo waffles. We have this all the time. We have this in our freezer all the time. We're never out of these Eggo waffles because they're super easy, really delicious. They're not heavy, they're quite light actually. Yeah, and we just use with uh, uh, maple syrup sprinkle a little bit easy peasy easy breakfast uh, especially if you have to go to work and all that so yeah we got that um i got this uh hot dogs uh beef hot dogs um this is first time i think we're buying this they have sausages but i'm not a big fan of sausages so i would prefer hot dog versus sausages but yeah this is again we just made uh, we used to buy a lot of ground beef and we made, we call it cutlet. We just season it and all that and then saute it, kind of fry it. It's kind of hot dog, uh, not hot dog, burger meat, but it's not. It's actually better. Yeah. So we just got tired of it because we were eating it like almost every day. So I'm like, okay, let's just get hot dog. So that's that. I'm actually excited to try this because it has, um, it's organic, grass fed, uncured. So yeah, we'll see how it tastes. Hopefully good because I'm really picky about meat. So yeah, got that. Got bananas over here. Uh, I didn't get the organic because I'm gonna do some uh, baking so I'm like I don't need organic for baking and uh, yeah that's that and our favorite dumplings is it dumpling um, wrapper wrapper I don't know I don't know is it dumplings would you call these dumplings I don't know but um, yeah, these are amazing. They have a few different ones. We've tried, I think, not all of them, but few other ones. But this is so far the best one. This is chicken and cilantro. It doesn't taste like cilantro. It's really fresh when you eat it. And I made uh, this uh, oil. I don't know if it's Chinese or no, it's Thai. I don't know, I don't know. It's just, uh, I got this, um, our friend gave me the recipe and she got from YouTube lady that I used to watch, but it's amazing. You cook this and then sprinkle a little bit of that oil or uh, you can eat with sour cream this. I actually fry these. Uh, they're amazing and with sour cream, it's really delicious too. It's yummy. Yeah, they're really good. As I said, it's really light too. We got some berries, frozen berries for smoothies. Um, yeah, you know, frozen berries, a bit boring, but it's good. And always wanted to try frozen shrimp. This is, I guess, cooked, uh, peeled and all that. Um, it was quite expensive. I would say this package, how many ounces? Um, okay. One and a half pound. Um, it was like 15, 16 dollars. I think it's quite expensive, but they're quite good size. Um, so yeah, excited to saute maybe, or I don't know, we'll see. I just always want to buy it and never do. And I don't even know what I'm going to do it. Oh, it says raw. It's raw, but it looks kind of, kind of cooked. Maybe they don't cook it all the way. Steamed. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. We'll cook that and then we buy these quite often. Uh, taquitos, chicken and cheese. Again, really easy. Um, we just put it in a microwave. Um, put a little bit of Tabasco and my husband did with, uh, he sprinkled a little bit of feta cheese on it with Tabasco. It's actually really good that way. 
So yeah, it's really easy when you're coming home after work, don't have any dinner made already prepared, which happens almost every day. <laughs> this is an easy thing to kill the hunger. But yeah, really good. We really like that. And from the food, I have croissant. No, Cro croissant. Croissant. <laughs> I don't remember the French guy. Um, he teaches how to pronounce croissant, um, but uh, correctly. But we got is it the strawberry? Yeah, it has strawberry jam in it. It's quite good. We usually get the plain one, but I think it has 12 in it, and it was a bit too much for us. And it's summertime, don't want that many croissant, you know, in your body. So <laughs> we just went with the six and yeah i actually opened the package uh i think it came with three this is just like to poke your teeth <laughs> and all that um yeah soft peaks i don't know never use them i don't know but yeah try uh, oh it has a, a kind of plasticky container that you can uh put some in there and then keep in your purse maybe in a car so when you eat burger or burrito or pizza, you can just clean your teeth. That's good. And then I got my uh, toothpaste. This is only me. I use this because I have extremely sensitive teeth. But yeah, I every time I see different flavors, I guess, I try different ones. I just want to see which one I prefer maybe better. But I don't know. I think they all do the same thing. I don't know if the other one is uh, whitens my teeth more than the other one, but I don't know. It works. It cleans my teeth. It's it's good. Yeah, and I got this uh, slip dress cotton model stretch. I don't know. It has 55% cotton. Didn't even see that. I think I wouldn't purchase if I saw that before. <laughs> but I just have to touch it feel it um and then yeah uh, i don't know i have mixed feelings about this i think it's gonna go back i don't like 55 percent cotton what was i thinking i think i was blind didn't pay attention got this uh, bioderma uh, micellar water this one is empty because i took upstairs i couldn't wait i forgot it's like wait i'm gonna do video um but yeah this one is empty i got two I'll take off my makeup with this and then cleanse my face. So we'll see how it works. I've never used uh, micellar water before, but yeah, excited about that. And I got these, <laughs> I got these pillows for our patio furniture. I'm really excited. I really love the color. I don't know if it, you can see the color really good, but it's kind of muted. What is it? Turquoise? Yeah, turquoise. It's not bright turquoise. But yeah, and it has this kind of um, things on the edge. I don't know what it is, but yeah. I thought I thought it's really nice, and I think it was $20 for both. Um, yeah, yesterday we went to um, World Market. I love that store. Um, I want to show you what we got from there. Me and my sister went there, uh, but I'm going to put all these melty things in my freezer, organize, and then I'll share what we got from World Market. Okay, I have a couple more boxes I just got. Um, I'll show you a very exciting box. I opened it, I couldn't wait. Okay, so I just got, actually I wanna show you these um, floss, these floss, flosses. <laughs> um, it's called Coco Floss Delicious Mint. Um, when we start, when we discovered this, they had only this mint one, now they have like different flavors. Um, and it's really nice. Why we love this, it's kind of, thicker floss versus the other ones that you buy like any brand we purchase they're not good they're really thin 
They don't take all the gunk out of your teeth right away. These are amazing. Uh, we love this. We've been repurchasing this for, I don't know, for how many years, but yeah, these are amazing. I got this from Amazon, but you can get from their um, website too, and they have sometimes discount. So yeah, that's there, must have. And then I got this amazing package from France. It's from um, Francis Kirkjian, you know, the Baccarat Rouge, um, the creator. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm proud that he carries Armenian name. <laughs> Makes me feel I good. Buy samples from them, from their website, um, to see if I like it or not. And I cannot wear a lot of perfumes. I'm really sensitive. So I have to try first, but yeah, it's really nice touch. Really fancy, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's his name and all that. Okay, and then it came with this tiny thing. Not too much junk in there, which I appreciate. And the package is really nice and um, tiny. You know, they're not wasting too much stuff, even though it comes from France. But the package really nicely. And uh, yeah, one, two, three. Wait, what? Four. Jeez, I cannot count. Four. <laughs> you get four. You can choose four um, samples. I mean, you purchase this, but it's uh, $16, I think, $17, which worth it. It's literally nothing. But yeah, it came like that. And even Ribbon has his name, which is super fancy, really beautiful. I have, um, okay, oh, so you can remove it with that. I don't know if I can. I have Bac uh, Baccarat Rouge perfume but he came up with um, goodness what is it kind of oil perfume something i don't even know jesus christ can i no, no. <laughs> okay francis how can i oh, okay jesus finally i got um extra de perfume extract i guess it's uh more dense i guess it has more oil uh in this than the original one and it comes with the red bottle versus the other one it's kind of clear uh bottle but i love it it's my holy grail my husband loves it too it's a unisex perfume i got that i honestly don't want to bash it because i don't think i can read these names aqua universe universally name yeah <laughs> i don't know i can i can um put the names uh, down below okay now the most fun part i okay i don't know if every state has this store but this store carries a lot of european um products uh cookies sweets and uh pasta so every time that's my favorite store because i grew up in different country and we had a lot of uh, european products versus american we didn't have anything actually from america rarely something um it was mostly european so european and russian and of course armenian but um yeah every time we go to the store me and my sister uh, we just go through the section that it's like European cookies and the sweets and uh, other stuff. Everything we find uh, doesn't have to be only sweets. As I said, pasta. We've tried different pastas before. Um, but yeah, I got this one. Um, pasta, 100% organic. It says Durham, Durham with semolina. I don't know what Durham is, but I was like, okay whatever it says wait 100% I'm getting it <laughs> really excited to try this um yeah I'm excited and it's made in Italy yes made in Italy so 
so that's that but these cookies i think these are butter cookies yeah this is butter cookies oh made in france <laughs> okay embarrassing but made in france made in france both and i'm thinking this says butter cookies and th i'm thinking this is butter cookies as well i don't know but um yeah really excited to try still do you want to try mm -hmm. which one no. or let's open both and we can just share because um yeah we were literally and they have so many other things <laughs> we're like okay we got to take pictures the one that we purchased so we don't repurchase so we can try other things because they had so many to choose from it was just really difficult ah it comes with <gasps> this reminds me of those french cookies we got from costco those fancy schmancy ones mm -hmm. in that yeah oh costco carries amazing stuff during uh holidays i put my nose in there oh that smells so good tiny one to you i just touched my nose it's my sister mm. oh wow. really light it's gonna be loud sorry Mmm. <laughs> really crunchy, really light. Mmm. Wow. What it tastes like? Amazing cookie. Tastes like a little bit of butter cookie, right? I can tell it's butter cookie, but it's really light. My camera cut me off, but no, both are really good. It's just this one has a little bit stronger flavor. I mean, they're a bit different. They're not the same. This is mild, a little bit mild, but I cannot explain. They're really good. Amazing, amazing, amazing. They're butter cookies, uh, but they're not super greasy, I would say, because we got the one from Costco during the holidays. It was made in Belgium, I think. Belgian cookies, butter cookies. Was it Belgium? I think so. They were a bit buttery, <laughs> butter cookies, buttery. A little bit oily when you were touching it it would get kind of a little bit oily your fingers but it's still really good with the tea but this is a bit drier version of that but not a bad thing i guess but yeah amazing amazing i'm really excited um i wish you got a little bit more the packaging looks a bit bigger than what's in it but not complaining okay it's really good and then um i remember my friend uh gave me this digestives um cookies um i'm picking some things up it's tickling me um but they had couple versions the other one said something classic something but this is classic too i think no original the other one was classic i think so i remember that she had this one i couldn't remember really good actually but i'm like okay we'll just try this one that you won't try we're just gonna open everything oh yeah i think this is the one sorry oh yeah really soft okay i'm just gonna eat a little bit because it's gonna be super loud but yeah it has a little bit of saltiness it it will be really good with tea uh, because it's a bit dry but i remember it's really good i did remember that's why i purchased when i saw this but yeah it's really good and with tea just perfect tea or coffee yeah really good yummy and then oh Finally, um, every time I just go to Amazon and I forget to purchase, um, we drink wine quite often. And uh, obviously we have cheese and meat, you know, charcuterie board. Am I saying it correctly? I don't know the word, but we needed this big time because we always have several kinds of cheese and uh, yeah, we need some, you know, want it to look nice and fancy got those i think these were eight dollars yeah and then okay <laughs> this is crazy okay but mm. 
Don't judge. So, I'm not going to open this because we had this many times. Embarrassing to say. And when we go to the store, we purchase like bunch. I got five this time, but we bought four more. Embarrassing, but they're addictive. These are Italian, what do you say, waffles. In Armenia, we call this waffles too. I mean, we don't have the waffles, you know, the Eggo waffles, we don't have that in there. We call waffles, waffles. But it's hard for me to remember to call them waffles. But yeah, um, and the brand is Locker. Yeah, made in Italy. The hazelnut one is just, I can't even. I got two of hazelnut. It's the best. I think it's our favorite, favorite one. And then vanilla is as well is amazing. Just delicious. And I always get one matcha because I love matcha. My husband does a lot of matcha. So me and my sister eat this, mostly me. <laughs> yeah, and this is amazing too. It tastes legit like matcha. It's not like, oh, hey, it's matcha, but you eat, it tastes like peach, you know? But no, it tastes like matcha and it's really delicious. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna eat the, uh, open these because I open all these. We're just gonna keep these somewhere so I don't see them, don't eat them, all of them in like a week or two days but yeah that's all i have i think this is crazy um but um yeah they're really good that's all i have oh i'm gonna show you my garden as i promised yeah i watered my grass today i didn't water the flowers because i watered them yesterday or the day before i don't remember but yeah i'll show you my garden really pretty yeah that's all I have for today. Um, I'll show you my garden and then I'll say bye to you. Bye. Lily's here. And dry grass. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But um, yeah, we got beautiful lilies. We have some flowers. I don't even know the names. So here we have my favorite rose bush. This is called, I think, Baby Blue. It's kind of a um, pinky purple. I don't know if it catches because it's quite sunny. Let me show you. And it smells divine. And this is the Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Lincoln. I think it's a, a red rose. My husband is really excited about this one. He says it's supposed to smell amazing. So yeah, it's gonna bloom soon. This is our magical rose area. My husband is really proud because he literally takes care of takes care of these roses every single day and we have one camilla tree here i think it's a camellia chameleon i don't remember but um it had flowers on the beginning of the uh, summer i think i don't even remember but yeah this roses this pink ones smell amazing and there's gorgeous gorgeous roses and um, yeah, my husband just okay, kills all the bugs and uh, cuts them, deadheads them. He just loves these roses and he loves to take care of these roses. Yeah, these are amazing. These ones don't have a lot of smell, but they still have some. But these other r rosy roses, <laughs> pinky ones they smell really amazing yeah these take quite a lot of time to take care um but uh, they worth it because they're so pretty